In this screencast, we're going to start building the home page. This page is usually the entry point to the rest of your site, so you want to make it easy for newcomers to know what your site is about and not too confusing for them to navigate through your site. Because of the length of this video, I'll not be typing the code. I'll show you what I've come up with and explain to you the structure of my code. Let's first open up the folder that I've created, the rabbit. Inside the rabbit folder, I have two HTML files, skeleton and index underscore demo. I have a CSS style sheet and a folder that has all the images. Let's look at index underscore demo page in the browser, which I have here. It's very much like the template that we've downloaded, except for the content area. I've made some changes to it. The title would be the rabbit. Not creative, but it works. The menu is up here with the journey, characters, map, author. Then I would like to think of my web page or home page as a welcome screen to welcome people that visit this site. So I want to start out with a welcome message to the visitors. Of course, this section is also great to introduce the story and how it all began, which is this section. Then I would like to make my home page function as a guide that points visitor to a few main sections within my site. To do that, I'm going to create three descriptive boxes and allow visitors to click on a link to read more. You can see here the journey section, character section, map section. They can users can click on this link to go to journey page, this to the characters page, this to the map page. These links would be duplicates to the links to the top. And it makes sense because a lot of times they don't click on the top navigation they would read down your page and finally choose where they want to go at the end. Then let's minimize this page and look at the code. Let's open up index demo with top style and also the CSS file in top style. And what I have here Let's just skip through all the standard or predefined classes and style sheet rules and go down to where I've started my style sheet rules. Everything below this comment are style sheet rules that I made specifically for the index page. Then you see that I have a welcome class and it only works when it's under item class. I change its color and font. I have a first letter class, same thing, changes font and letter spacing. And this is for the item class. Then I have category boxes at the bottom of the page and this is the wrapper class for the div. I have left box class, mid box, right box class, they all share these style sheet rules and I made them float left. And you can look at here the h1's HTML tag inside the class they have a color and font set. With the mid box I gave it a border left and a border right. As you remember that the boxes are divided with dashed lines. Now let's go to the index demo.html. Nothing's been changed except for the content section. So I'm going to scroll down to the content section now and start with the sections where I've added content. This is welcome message. 
this is the category sections. So let's go to the welcome message first. This is the containing div. I use the item class. So anything that applies to the item class will apply to this div. I have the title. Let me get rid of the sidebar. I have a title here with class welcome. And also I use a different method to create the big W effect. I wrapped W with a span that has a first letter class that will make the W a bigger font size. And also I've decreased the letter spacing to have W closer to the Elcom. And we have the div that contains all the body, the text, the image. I've closed the welcome div here. And we start the div that has the category. This is the category wrapper. I have three subcontaining divs. And they're all assigned a descriptive class name left box, mid box, right box. And this one will be at the very left because it's floated left. This one will come right after, and this one will be at the right. Then you have the H1 tags within the left box, mid box, and right box. These. At the very, bo at the very end of the subcontainers, you have the anchor tags that links to the specific page. For example, this one is journey.html. This one is characters.html. This one is map.html. You'll see something weird here. I've created a line break with inline style that clears both, clears the flow. Let me bring back my web page here. The copyright 2000 is right here with the line break. Let me take out the line break and show you what will happen if, if we don't have it there. Let's minimize it. Let's refresh. You see that the background shifts up and the copyright 2007 is right here. Because everything is floated to the left, if you don't clear it and there are more spaces to the right, of the boxes, it'll continue after the boxes. So we want to undo and have clear both here. You don't have to use line breaks. You can assign it to a span or an, an em empty div. Then uh, I'd like to end with this note. I'd like to remind you that creating this page took me more than 10 minutes because I had to do some tweaking to make the page fit perfectly. I also had to go through a lot of trial and error to get the page to look right. So remember when you're building your own website, don't give up because you don't get something or you can't get it to look right on each. With practice, you'll get better and get faster. And that's it for this screencast. Thank you.